everyone. This is Nathaniel, Captain Nathaniel Lemon, FloridaSightFishing.com. I'm a charter captain here in Central Florida. And uh, I'm back to bring you another one of my monthly fishing reports, including pictures from the past month. Uh, I've got some great positive feedback from everyone. They love the reports. They love hearing my name or hearing my voice to put to a face. In addition to just reading everything on my website and reading the text, you know, they can kind of hear it in a different format now. So if you like the videos, definitely give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing these every month, like I said. Um, so if you do like them, give me a like, subscribe to the channel so you can kind of keep updated with me too. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into it because I just finished up a charter. It was almost, uh, well, we hooked over 20 redfish. We didn't land that many. We were just short of that. We lost a few of them, but epic day. Um, you see, I'm in my foul weather gear today. It was a 46 degree boat ride this morning, 48 yesterday. You know, we got into 50 yesterday. So the waters were pretty chilly. Um, that's going to be kind of our theme, you know, really for the next month or so. We're going to keep getting cold fronts. The water levels are going to keep changing, but the fishing should get even better. I mean, hey, if you listen to my last report, I said it was a, we were averaging, you know, 10, 15 redfish a day. Psst, it's gotten even better. Check this photo out. These guys fished with me. We had 15, almost 15 inches of rain right before Thanksgiving. These guys came out and they're a little bit worried. I said, no, we're going to go and catch a bunch of fish. I think we hooked close to 30 redfish that day. Um, fished right soon thereafter with this uh, mother and her son. And we went out and buried them. I mean, 12 to 15 trout, another 20 plus redfish. Fished with this father and his two boys. It was a good day until we fish showed up the last flat. Look what showed up, 45 inch redfish. Talk about making for some happy faces on that trip. Um, fished with this mother and her son. They've been in the report before. Um, the son saves up his money, his own money for charters, people. That's a lot of pressure on me when a 10 year old's paying for a charter. Thankfully it paid off with another 10. I think we had a dozen redfish on this trip. Um, these guys have been fishing with me for several years. Um, we always seem to have some good days, but this was a birthday trip for Rich and uh, you know, we, we caught a bunch of redfish for them. Um, fished on, did this was a fly fishing charter that I did. Talk about crap conditions. It was cold, windy, no sunlight, but he really wanted a redfish on the fly. And we made it happen with a few takes that day. Um, had some other ones here. I mean, if you just look at these photos, I'm gonna throw up for you guys. If you notice a theme, it's double after double, after double, after double. Everybody's gotten on board with double, you know, doubles lately. It's been a phenomenal bite. I mean, we've literally averaged over double digits. I think the slowest trips I've done have been eight redfish. The best ones I've been have had have been over 25. Um, so it's been a really good bite here in the lagoon. It's gonna be that's the theme. I mean, if you're here to find a theme or what I've been doing and what I'm gonna continue to do the next month, it's gonna be hot and heavy in the two lagoons because um, we have Mosquito Lagoon here, Indian River Lagoon on that side. Uh, both of them are fishing pretty well. Um, that's where I'm going to be for the, really the foreseeable future. I did finish up uh, some big redfish with these guys. We were up at the inlet for a couple days. Hooked some 40 inch redfish or just shy of 40 inches. Um, but I'm pretty much done with those probably till springtime. Uh, I usually don't fuss with them a lot this time of year because they're pretty lethargic. They don't even really want to bite. You can sit there for hours and catch you know, one or two. but. Why do that when I can go to the lagoon and find schools of 100 plus fish and wear them out all day long? So that's the theme I'm going to be sticking with. In addition to the redfish, um, you know, I'm going to throw a couple more pictures up in here of some, some of these other trips, you know, the, the pure redfish charters. Um, but in addition to the redfish, we've got black drum this time of year. We've got big speckled trout. This morning, coldest temp, water temps we've had yet this year, finally started seeing the big trout moving up into the shallow water. Saw two today, definitely over 30 inches. Saw a handful of other ones that were in that 25 to 28 inch range. So they're definitely moving up the shallow water now. I'm uh, gonna be a little lethargic. If you wanna catch one of those, we can do it. It just takes time and patience because these fish really aren't charging to go get anything. They're gonna eat, but it does take some time. And uh, it's a little bit different style of fishing, but usually we pick up redfish in the process. So hey, what's to complain about? Um, don't have any trout pictures to throw up in here because honestly we haven't really spent much time trying to catch any trout. It's been redfish, redfish, redfish. Uh, black drum, like I said, they'll be here for the winter time. They're gonna actually 
school up by the hundreds. I'm already starting to see them already. I don't really spend a lot of time fishing for black drum because they're not really like a high priority game fish. Um, but they're fun to catch if nothing else is around. We do get schools of giant ones that show up. They're already here a little bit. They're going to be showing up even more as we get into January and February. Last February, I found a school of a thousand of them down here in the lagoon um, that were all 30 to 60 pounds. Giant. Um, so we can spend a little bit of time with those. Again, don't have any black drum photos to throw up because they don't really, they only eat us shrimp and crabs. Sometimes the water supplies don't really spend a lot of time on them. And when the redfish bite or trout bite's good, I'm definitely doing that instead. But those are those are our kind of theme for the winter redfish, black drum, trout. Um, we're we're going to get some snook too, especially as this cold weather kind of shows up. You know, we've been getting into the snook bite, but haven't really even looked for them yet. Sticking with the redfish and sight casting on the flats. Um, so, if you heeded my advice, like the folks that watch these videos, they got to see, you know, if you heed my advice and we're here, they got to see some great fishing over the past month. So, hopefully, you too want to get out on this boat. Um, hit me up with a phone call. Send me a text message. Hit me up with an email. Plenty of ways to reach me. Um, and you too can get out here and, and get in on some of this winter fishing we're going to have. Because I really think this is the most fish numbers I've seen six and seven years. I've been telling everybody it's going to be epic winter fishing. All right, let me repeat it. It's going to be epic, people. As this water level drops, there's going to be huge schools around. There was a lot of schools around last winter. There's going to be double that amount this year. It's going to be really good. The moratorium that we have now on prohibiting any, keeping any redfish, everything's catch and release on the redfish, has led to some great numbers. So um, if you like this video, definitely give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to get out on this boat, floridasightfishing.com is the email or the website domain. Check me out on the website, send me an email, phone call, text message. A lot of times I'm on the water. If you can't reach me, definitely send me a text message, okay? Um, so, again, like, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'm going to see you out on this boat sometime soon. Got space for you to be here with me. Um, so, until then, tight lines.